These are wild. What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and today I'm checking out a crazy new cushioning technology which I'm really excited to see in person. First off, huge shout out to Puma for sponsoring today's video and also sending out an early pair of their brand new sneakers which feature their brand new technology which I believe is pronounced Xetic? I think it's spelled X-E-T-I-C, so I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that, but I'm really excited to check it out because it's crazy looking. So this is the box. Can't believe that spin actually worked. And uh, the shoes are inside. I have not checked them out yet. I'm really excited to see them. I have seen pictures of the shoes, but what I'm really excited about is trying them on and seeing how the cushioning actually feels underfoot because this is called the, I believe, the Calibrate Runner, and it's primarily made for everyday lifestyle wear, and that's something that I'm very good at, just walking around my house and um, not going too many places. Let's pop this box open and see how these shoes actually look. We're gonna do this for the first time together, so let me know in the comment section what you guys think of these shoes. These are nuts. <laughs> That's crazy. So like I mentioned, these are the Puma Calibrate Runners, and they feature the Xetic, X-E-T-I-C, I feel like it's Zetic, right? They feature this new cushioning technology that was actually designed by MIT in a lab. And apparently the reason that Puma went to MIT to help design this cushioning setup is because first of all, it's MIT, which is like one of the most renowned engineering schools in the world. But second off, because they have this special proprietary technology that actually helps design cushioning technologies and help with models of how people's feet work in certain environments. I don't really know how to describe it, but it's cool, it's futuristic, and uh, this is the result. So at first glance, these might actually look like a 3D printed midsole, but they're not, they're not plastic, they're actually foam, which is softer than plastic, obviously. And although 3D printed plastic, at least in the application of being a midsole, can be soft, it can never really be as soft as foam because it wouldn't have the same structure. So what makes this foam midsole in particular really cool is that it features this really unique look, but the pattern is also functional and creates this really interesting way of cushioning underneath your foot. So my thought from the very little engineering knowledge that I have is that the reason that these holes are here is so that you can get a lot of cushioning upwards and downwards or like vertically, but you don't get a lot of movement side to side, so you're not going to slide off of the footbed. That's my take. I'm not 100% sure if that's the reason why, but that seems like the reason they would do it this way. Did you guys ever do that experiment in elementary school where you got a bunch of straws and you tried to build a bridge, and you found that when you press down on the top of the straw, it didn't really compress that easily, but when you turned it on its side, it was really easy to crush? This design actually reminds me of that a lot, in a lot of different ways. One, that you know, you're not going to be able to squeeze it as much from the sides, but from the top, you're going to have some nice soft cushioning, some straw-like cushioning. That's probably not the right word to say. In any case, I'm really excited to check these out and I love the unique look. It's crazy. But moving on from the midsole because we're going to get back to this midsole in a bit when we actually try the shoe on and experiment with how soft it is, the rest of the upper seems to be covered in primarily this white knit. As you can probably also tell, it's a one-piece booty construction so it doesn't have a separate tongue, which in a lot of ways is a good thing because it gives you a very sock-like fit. And it looks like from the midfoot of the shoe all the way around to the other side of the midfoot all the way around the heel, it's actually reinforced with this sort of plastic um, thread or maybe heat press thread or something like that so you're gonna get some containment on the sides of your foot but uh, it's definitely a very futuristic look which I think is gonna attract a lot of people who are into that sort of sportswear look. Obviously, you've got your reflective Puma logo on the midfoot of the lateral and the medial side of the shoe. Visually, I really like the sort of gradient that takes place on the upper. It goes from like a white to sort of a light gray to a black. I think that's a really nice touch. And then on the heel of the shoe, you've got this white fuse overlay with a silver Puma logo. It's a clean looking upper. It's not crazy, it's not too out there, and it definitely sort of balances out the craziness that you get with the midsole. But let's be honest, the reason that we're all here is to try out this midsole and see how it feels on foot. So let's go try it out. Okay, so first impressions. What's interesting about these shoes is that they give you some nice cushion without ever feeling too mushy. It's not the softest cushion I've ever tried, but it is definitely soft enough. And what I like about it is that it never feels unstable, and I think there's a couple reasons for that. One is that the foam isn't as soft as some of the other foams, and two, because of the way that the pattern is created, like I said, you're not gonna have a lot of lateral movement, which is actually really good. It's also pretty cool to watch this pattern compress as you walk in it and put weight on it. And it's also cool to actually look through the little holes. I didn't realize you could do that until I was watching back some of the 
of the on-foot footage, and it's an interesting look for sure. It definitely has a very futuristic vibe to it. But the main thing that I liked about the underfoot feel of the Calibrate Runner was how springy it was. You got some nice cushion under the heel and towards the forefoot of the shoe, but you always kind of bounced back into your next step, which I really liked. Not only that, but the insole is also nicely padded as well, which I appreciated. So it's definitely an easy shoe to wear every day. It's definitely comfortable, especially when you pair it with this knit upper, and especially towards the midfoot and the heel of the shoe where the knit is really wide, you get a lot of breathability. Like this shoe breathed really, really well. Plus the knit on the toe is really stretchy and soft and it gives you a lot of flexibility. And when you pair the knit upper with the midsole, it's a really solid combination, especially in this colorway. I really dig this sort of white gray look, but really as with most new technologies, what actually gets me excited about this is how they're gonna implement it on new shoes in the future. Because obviously this is the first shoe that's coming out with this technology and it's cool because of that, but I think in the future they're gonna be able to implement it in really cool and new ways. And I think that's what's gonna make this so exciting because of all the different shoes that are gonna have this technology and what they can really do that's different with those shoes. But now I would love to know your thoughts on the Puma Calibrate Runner and whether you're planning to grab a pair for yourself and also what you think of this new cushioning technology. I think it's a really interesting look and I'm really excited to see what they do with it in the future. Once again, huge thank you to Puma for sponsoring today's video and letting me check out some really cool unreleased sneakers. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.